All right, here is a review, in-depth review of the Sidekick LX. This is um, not really a new phone, but this is the, uh, I'd say the pre-phone to the Sidekick 2008 or the Sidekick Gecko. Came out early uh, 2000, well, not really early, like mid-2007. And um, this is the brown one. Now, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos. They don't really show the color off very well. But uh, here, in my, uh, my, where I record my videos, I have really good lighting. So you can really see the true color of the brown Psychic. Most people don't like it, but everyone has the blue, so I, that's why I didn't get the blue. Plus, I like the brown. I just liked it a whole lot better. So before I get into uh, all this stuff here, I'll go through the tech specs, tech specs really quick. Pardon the, uh, the mess up. First off, it's size. The Psychic LX is 5.2 inches long, it is 2.4 inches uh, tall, and only 0.7 inches at its, uh, at the thinnest point, it's 0.7 inches uh, in depth. The weight is um, 5.8 ounces, and uh, the battery life is, um, the talk time is up to 6 hours, and the standby time is 4 days. It is a GSM phone. Not 3G, it's GSM 1900. And, uh, you know, if you're in a 3G area, a 3G phone is awesome to have, but if you're uh, unlucky like me and don't live in a 3G area, a uh, GSM 1900 is perfectly fine. The phone comes equipped with a, uh, obviously, you know, the volume rocker here, the power button, nothing on this side except for the, uh, the lanyard port over there, the two soft keys, which can be used for games, camera, um, pretty much they're both programmable. You could use them for a bunch of different things, but this one right here is for the camera. Uh, here's the 1.3 megapixel camera. It has the flash and the um, self-portrait mirror. Not the greatest camera. It would have been nice to see two megapixels, but uh, then again, I don't really use the camera that much, so, you know, it's good for me. On this side, you have the mini USB port which uh, you use to charge and for uh, data sync on the phone. Here you have the three and a half uh, millimeter headset jack which uh, pretty much works with every headphone. So if you have your own pair of headphones and you want to use this, you're good to go. The main buttons. On the right you have your scroll wheel or your click wheel, whatever you want to call it. The send and end keys. The X or the back key. Actually no, this is the X key, the check key, this goes back this exit, exit out of uh, any application you have. You have the menu key, gives you the drop down menu, and you have the home key, which in this case the home key I have set to a uh, phone. If you do have a My Faves plan, you could set it to that the home key will go directly to your My Faves, but I have it set to go to the phone. And here you have uh, your speaker and uh, earpiece. Not the greatest call quality on here. Psychics aren't really known for their call quality more for the texting, but um, I don't know. For now, it's good. Speaking of texting, uh, probably the best phone or mobile keyboard there is. A lot of people have said that they, uh, sidekicks, like, you know, the line of sidekicks all have the best keyboards on phones, and I would have to agree with them. There isn't really a more comfortable keyboard to use when on the go than I think the sidekick, not just the LX, but all the keyboards. You have, you know, full QWERTY keypad, and you have your number keys that you can use, you know, for numbers if you want to dial that way, but I don't really think anyone does. Um, over here, you have the, um, let me see, I forgot what this is called. Ah, man, brain freeze. Well, anyway, I forgot the name of it, but pretty much that, um, oh yeah, there we go, it's an ambient light sensor. So pretty much it can detect where you are and the lighting situation you're in, and it'll um, adjust the screen brightness to um, you know what's appropriate for uh, battery life. Yeah. So flipping it up, I'll uh, try and get this as close as I can so you could uh, have the full experience here. This is uh, what you see when you first get the LX. You have your phone. Actually, I'm going to go through these one at a time from top to, fun to finish. Sorry, I'm messing up a lot here. I'm really, you know, I don't do gadget reviews a lot, so bear with me. Here you have your download catalog. This is where you can get, you know, games, 
wallpapers, themes, all that, you know, fun stuff, ringtones. Uh, you pretty much know what all this stuff is. This is your catalog. This is where you download everything. Your instant messenger. You have your AOL, AIM instant messenger, MSN live messenger, and Yahoo messenger. All of them have upgrades and all of them uh, are pretty good. Email. Um, support up to a few email clients here. Um, the phone, obviously, you know, everyone knows what the phone is. You know, type in a contact, it brings up your address book. My faves, these are my my faves. If you want to actually see who's in here, yeah. Text messaging, you know, everyone knows what that is. You have picture and uh, MMS, yeah, MMS messaging and SMS messaging. Contacts, a few of my friends are in there, you can see them. have you know your web browser right now always on Facebook if you can see my status update it's actually showing my YouTube channel that's how much I want people to subscribe to me go back um, what else you have your organizer your notes calendar to do your camera which uh, you know has all your pictures media player See if I could play some for you so you could get the uh, quality here. Let's see, which one do you guys want? You want Amir, Endwell, Less Than Jake, Medina Lake, or Unknown? Yeah, screw it. We'll go with Less Than Jake. Let's see. Here you go. Here's a good song. So, yeah, there's the uh, speaker quality if you wanted to uh, get a look at that. And uh, yeah, you have your applications, your alarm clock, calculator, and uh, sticker picks is an application I download, but I never use it. It's pretty stupid. And then obviously you have your games. Now I love this thing for games. Blockade is the uh, best game ever, I think, for the Psychic LX or any of the Psychics. So if you have a Psychic, Blockade, very good game. Bob's Journey, this is the game that comes with all Psychics. I've never played it, I don't like it one bit, but you know that's just me. Bust a Move, classic Japanese game, very fun. Miss Pac-Man, again, classic game, I'm kind of a nerd with that. You have your Pool Hall Challenge, and Sonic. Now, I didn't think this would be very good, but the Sonic game is amazing. It's pretty much like having a Sega Genesis with you all the time. Check this out. How cool is that, guys? Let's see, I'll give you a little quick demo of it as soon as it loads here. I mean, you could tell it's exactly like, you know, the old Sega Genesis. Starting the game. Check this out. Whoa. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Let me get back to that. Here we go. So yeah, very, very cool. Favorite game on there. So yeah, overall, that's pretty much all you need to know about the Psychic LX. It's a good phone, you know, if you're into, you know, the whole texting thing. Um, this actually isn't my current phone. I used the T-Mobile Shadow, which, um, see if I can find it. I don't think I have it here. It's in my pocket. Uh, yeah, so the T-Mobile Shadow is my main phone, but this is a, a good phone to have if, you know, you're into texting and you have to have you know, your internet and constantly be signed on to AIM. So there it is, Psychic LX.